Hi, this is Derek from LiveWatch. In today's video, I will teach you guys how to choose your first watch toolkit. Everything I mentioned in this video will have a affiliate link in the description. If you're interested, please purchase through my link. So I will get a tiny commission that will definitely help out the channel. Thank you for your support. Let's start with the wristwatch check. I'm wearing this modded Seiko SKX007 K model today. I purchased it through Long Island Watch, Your Watch, Your Way program. It's stunning. Mark done a very good job to put together this program. So let's see, I have this double dome AR coated sapphire crystal and also this ceramic dual time bezel insert and also this coin edge bezel, just stunning. Oh yeah, and the Strapco Super Engineer Type 2 bracelet. Okay, as you can tell, I pick up this Redeer brand's watch kit. Let's open it up. Inside, you can see everything that come with the kit. Everything else is on the side I will show you later. Let me walk you through two by two so you have a better understanding what you're looking at right now. Uh, first of all, this tool is a bracelet sizing tool. How to use it is very easy. You just need to unscrew this vise and then put your bracelet on, align this pin to the pinhole. Very gently push the pin through partially. Normally the bracelet will like cutting very close to this shoulder right here and you want to stop. After that, unscrew the pin and then pop your bracelet out. Using this tweezer, you can remove the pin all the way. And then after you are satisfied how many links you take off, and then you want to assemble the pin back into the bracelet. How you want to do that is partially put the pin into the bracelet and then put everything onto this slot right here. After that, you want to use this tiny hammer to tap it almost flush to the watch. You don't want to tap the hammer onto your bracelet or you will have a chance to scratch your bracelet. After that, here have different size of push pins. Let me take one out. Use the correct size to push the pin all the way back home. That's how you use this bracelet sizing tool. The next piece I want to talk about this case vise. Let me take it out. This case vise right here, um, how to use it is actually also very easy. Here have four pins you can adjust accordingly uh, with three sizes. And normally your watch will face down and put it right in here. And then you screw it to tighten your watch. Why you want to do this? Because you want to open up the case back. And then this case back tool will help you to open it up. In today's video, I won't teach you how to do that because that's another topic by itself. Today, we are focusing on what you need to pick in your toolkit. Now we look at the section over here. Again, this is the bracelet pin pusher or some tiny pin to come with a very tiny uh, Phillips screwdriver. I have never used this, it's so tiny. Um, I don't think it's very useful, but it's good to have. And then different sizes of push pins. Uh, you know what pins look like, so I won't bother to take it out. And here you have a box of um, tiny parts. These are uh, rechangeable spring ball tool pins and also your case back opener uh, jars, a different shape. So you can, you can change to fit your, your watch case back. And then we can look at this tool. This tool, I think it's used for opening or separate, for example, a bezel, because this tool is very sharp. I actually sharpened it even more with the sandpaper. You can shove it in between your case and your bezel and open it that way and push it in and this bezel will pop out. Next tool is the tweezer. I don't think I need to explain too much, but this kit, the tweezer is not very good. You can see I already damaged it 
by using it the wrong way <laughs> and this is not very short but it's a good to have uh, you need to upgrade this later if you want to uh, be more serious about this watch hobby and then here's a um, spring bar tool how the spring bar tool works this will be also another uh, topic and video and then Here's the case back. If you have those kind of pop open case back, this is the tool you want to use. Just put it into the notch and it will pop open. And then we also have this, I would say handy, but not that useful a screwdriver kit. In this, you will have lots of different bits you can choose. Normally, just come with different flat screw heads. And then you can change it out right here. The small hammer, the wiping cloth, and then the case back open. This is actually why I picked this kit because it comes with my favorite three jar um, case back opener. Uh, three jar I think is more secure. For sure you can use two jar. Normally there's come with like a tiny one like this size and only have two jar in the bottom. You can also open that that way but I don't feel very comfortable using those. I want as much jar as, as possible. So that's, that's actually why I picked this kit. So how to use this tool is quite simple. You just need to adjust this knob right here. It will close up the top jaws and then you can adjust this handle to adjust this third jaw. That's pretty good. How to really use this and this and then change out the bit to safely open up your case back. This also will be a different video. A little box right here. It come with a ton of different spring bars, different length, different size. It's very tiny one, long ones. Yeah, overall, I think this is a very good kit to start with. These are all the things you want to look for in the kit. If it comes with more tools, that's if the kit is missing some of these, I will say just avoid it. All right, so there's something else I think is worth mentioning when you're getting a kit. You should you should pick up these things as well. The first thing is this is a Bergeon 6767 AF. This is a very high quality spring bar tool. This is actually what the watchmaker are using. If you are not familiar with Bergeon, Bergeon is the to go. A watchmaker tool brand. So why Bergeon, not the one come with the watch? Let's see the main two big difference. About the, the, the spring bar opening side of the tool, you can see the Bergeon one, it's much finer, much sharper. It's more easy to operate and, and go, go under the spring bar and take it out. And then the second side is actually how you push the spring bar back into its hole. If you can tell, the, the right side of the Bergeon have a tiny little divot in the middle. That actually helps a ton to catch the spring bar without slipping. Every time I will install a strap to a watch, I will always use the Bergeon one. So I know I have 100% confidence this will not slip. If it slip, the spring bar will spring out and then it will scratch your lugs. That's nothing we want. So this is a must get in my opinion. And this is the most used tool in my whole watch kit. Second, I will say Radical. So this is a Bergeon brand 6033-1 Radical. What's a Radical is, it's basically a putty. This putty will absorb oil and also will, uh, the dust will stick to it. So if you really open up your case back, you want to put the case back back in, make sure you blow it up with the blower, something like this. This is actually I use for my DSLR cameras. And Rodico, if you see a tiny dust in there, don't just blow it off. You should use this to pick the dust off. If you're not doing this, you might blow the dust into the dial. That's more bad. Or if your greasy hand touch the, the movement, which is highly not recommended, you can use this Rodico to wipe off the grease point very, very easily. Talking about greasy fingers, this is also a thing you should buy. These we call the finger cut. Uh, when you buy from Amazon, it comes with a very huge bag with the very, uh, very less money. It's very affordable. The finger cut. 
So you should put on all of your fingers while you open up your case back. All right, so this is all the tool I want to share with you today. Uh, there's more advanced tool for sure, but these will be a very good start for your watch hunt. And also I have Instagram and Facebook. The link will be in the description. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I would love to see them. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.